Hi guys, this is um, our fish tank now. Um, as you see, we've put in um, plants, the big tall green ones. We got them from a river and they're doing pretty well. And they, we moved this plant and the fish tank is looking so well now and all the sticklebacks are doing so well as well. There's about five sticklebacks in here and one loach. We think it's a stone loach and here he is. Here he is a bit closer. This is the loach. This loach here is about three and a half centimetres, I would say. Um, I'm not sure if they grew any bigger. If this is a stone loach, he should grow bigger, but... He's not growing very much, so maybe he could be another kind of looch. If you know what kind of looch he is, please tell us in the comments, that is. And here are the sticklebacks. Here's only four of them, but there is five. Um, I can't see the fifth one, but... Oh, he's in there. But um, in another video we did about these, well, two videos, um, one of them's called um, Making Our Nature Aquarium Part 1, and the other one is Making Our Nature Aquarium Part 2. And these guys are in it, and if you watched, I think it's in Part 1, we got these um, from the garden, and... Well, um, we actually shouldn't have really did that, but oak leaves are fine to put in your fish tank, but other leaves could be a bit dangerous. But these fish are fine so, or right now, but we just took them out and replaced them with this leaf. But um, if you're wondering what leaves to put in, just put in oak leaves. Just make sure um, they don't have any like weed killer sprayed on them like from killing the weeds in your garden. We feed the fish flak food and sometimes live prey from water so they don't die. So the prey don't die. We're feeding them flax now and Pretty soon, when I put my finger in with the water, they're all going to be eaten out of my hands. So let's see if they are going to be brave and eat out of my hands. One saw the third. Two nine. Sticklebacks are pretty cool because um, you can get fish that eat out of your hands, but there's not very much fish that would be tame enough to. But sticklebacks are not really scared of feeding you out of their hands or out of your hand. But you just have to not move very much because, like, one slight move could make them think you're gonna scare them. Here's the big one. I'm just learning a bit full. So more come over. Um sometimes you're if you have sticklebacks, sometimes they will fight each other. But this is normal because like um, sometimes it's just to, sometimes they just do it for playing even. 
and then sometimes they just do it because it's mostly to do with food because the sticklebacks normally um, want all the food to themselves but um, they do normally hunt in groups but sometimes they will um, fight each other kind of. If you're someone that lives in the UK and you might be able to get sticklebacks in like places like America but I think in UK there's quite a lot so if you live in the UK and you're wondering what kind of fish to get, sticklebacks are very good for pets. All you have to go or all you have to do is um, either go to a lake um big pond or either go to a lake or a big pond or even a tiny stream or a river and you'll probably find sticklebacks the best time is probably in the springtime and um, we got these as babies and they're pretty fun to look after um but it only it doesn't take very long for them to be able to eat fish food flex but if that your sticklebacks are young you should feed them just little bits of egg and well if you're getting them when they're just hatched you don't really need to feed them for the first week because they'll be so small that they can find their tiny little food like like tiny food that you hardly could see or I hardly could see so I'm going to try to find some of the animals that you get with these guys. I can't find um, any of the insects, but we do have a photo of one of the insects that does live in here. Um, but I can't get a video of it, but um, it's a caddisfly larvae and... You also shoot, I think there is a water beetle and there is about two snails in here. And um, there could be other creatures, there probably is, but I just can't see them at the minute. So I hope you've liked this video and I'm going to show you a spider now. And it's pretty cool actually. This is our garden spider. We let we made a mistake of putting him in another spider's web and he ate it. I hope you like us showing you um, our sticklebacks, our looch and our spider. Remember never ever put another spider in to another spider's web. Bye, thanks for watching this video. Bye.